Thank you, Leave. Uh, someone asked why I still participate on programs, and it's because I like to hear my resume read uh, over and over again. <laughs> I am truly honored to be here and to be a part of introducing such a wonderful person. I want to first apologize to those that had table one. Uh, I came in and I looked at my tag and it said table one, and I went to table one over there. So I hijacked our speaker. You would have had the pleasure of having him at your table, but I had the pleasure of having him over that table. <laughs> As Lee said, I'm pleased to stand here to tell you about the success of a school that's close to my heart and that's my own high school in Denver, Colorado, Manuel High School. I thought I'd just give you a very brief history because I think our speaker would tell you more about the journey of Manuel High School than I could. But I, I started at Manuel High School in 1959. And uh, at that time, Manuel was probably 60% African American and uh, about 30% uh, about Hispanic and Latino. And than other minorities. It was a different school. But in that school, there was something that was really important, and those were that there were teachers who, who taught and cared about individuals and expected the best. When Lee said that there were three uh, African-American mayors who got elected, uh, uh, African-American students who got elected mayors of cities, uh, we were all about seven years apart. The mayor of East Point, Georgia, the mayor of Denver, Wellington Webb, and myself. And at the 100th anniversary of Manuel, a reporter came along and asked us who, who were our favorite teachers and what was so important about it. And independently, we named the three teachers. They were all teachers who were uh, uh, probably over, I think, 50, <laughs> who had a commitment of, of excellence, who demanded everything that we should be. It was our Latin teacher, it was our college prep English teacher, and it was our history teacher. And we loved those individuals, and I cherish them now, and they gave us the background that we needed to go to. Manuel, Manuel was a training high school. It was to teach vocational education to individuals, and it, it, had, it kept its name. There were a lot of us who sometimes wished that it wasn't Manuel, because everybody thought that if you went to Manuel, you might have an inferior education, and you might not have the academic rigors to compete in college and move forward. But after a while, we carried the Manuel uh, 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 moniker uh, proudly. Manuel meant a lot to all of us, and it is something that was really important. And then over time, we began to see a change, a change in Manuel, and I began to hear stories about how much it changed, and my heart began to break, and pretty soon, I read in the paper that Manuel was going to close and that they were going to have to retool that whole school and start all over. I got calls from individuals that said, you should come back to Denver and rally and lobby the uh, administration and school district to not close that school. But really, the idea of closing the school and issuing the challenge before you reopen it is not necessarily a bad thought. And so I decided that I would let the the issue run its course and let people re-decide where they needed to go. And I think they did the best. Matter of fact, what happened is they selected someone to take over and take Manuel to new heights. And they couldn't have found a better person in the, that I could ever identify. That person, too, was a graduate of Manuel High School. That person, too, had an involvement in, in Denver and cared about Denver and cared about that school. That person had a background in uh, uh, being an administrator of a private school and understanding what the rigors of when you have the tools to manage your own school and to take care of where you need to go, success reigns supreme. That person had the privilege of, of, of really beginning to start all over and make something happen. He's an individual that I have only read by resume alone but I find him to be a remarkable human being, and I think he really does make a difference in every way we have. He's developed strategies, he's sparking debate, and he's making a difference. So from day one, Rob Stein has embellished the whole idea that academic achievement is something that everybody can achieve. And it's my pleasure to introduce an innovator, a challenger, a person who's going to be the role model for academic success in this country, 
Dr. Rob Stein.